Hey everybody, how you doing out there? Is yours truly just talking about a whole bunch of things? Uh, I just want to I just want to uh, take your take a minute up by saying this will be a short story, not a lengthy story. It's not gonna be a, a one hour uh, story here. This will be a story that's be like thirty. It'll be like a, a three minute story. So bear with me, folks. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Bear with me. We're gonna talk about this woman who became a sheriff. Yeah, that's right, a sheriff. Uh, one of these sheriffs, these law enforcement people, um, she worked there apparently for 16 years, as far as I heard about the info, the information I got. Uh, 16 years of being the sheriff woman, uh, they trusted her. Uh, apparently what I got out of these uh, sheriff people, that they trusted her, and I said to myself, this is my words, this is my words, you can only trust a person so far, um, and then you just gotta let, gotta play it out, you gotta play it out. Um, you can trust a person so much, so much in this day and age. I know she was a, a mother figure or, uh, or a person of a figure kind of thing. Um, but yeah, she uh, she goes by the name of Vicky White. Vicky White. You might have, might have uh, typed her, her name on, on YouTube videos or any search engine. It doesn't matter. Find her videos there. Uh, she was the sheriff woman for 16 years, as far as I heard about in the news stories. Um... I just got information here and there. Uh, she got this inmate. Yes, I kid you not, an inmate. It's like getting out a, a jail free card. I can't believe I said that, right? Uh, so this inmate, they had a relationship. They had a relationship with each other. I don't know how it went. I really don't know. I don't really care, as the old saying goes. Uh, but uh, the inmate had a relationship with the sheriff woman. Um, and sometimes it, it, sp it spawns a relationship. And that relationship, uh, uh, apparently what they said was two years, a relationship. Uh, so this doesn't happen like a few days or a few weeks. It happened like over a two-year span. Um, and um, it flourished into a relationship. Um, now, from a viewer standpoint, this is me as a viewer, as a viewer watching, uh, watching something that was like a security cam footage, um, I just saw this lady goes in, uh, she had her, you know, her car, I think it was, it was not like your house car that you drive at home for. Um, this is like your city vehicle. And now remember, I'll tell you why, why I'm saying this. A city vehicle is different than your house vehicle. Um, that's, there's two types of vehicles out there in the industry. There's your city vehicle, city vehicles are only belong to the city. And there's your house vehicle, when you go to a dealership and buy a vehicle. And, you know, right off the lot and stuff like that. That's your, that's your, uh, when you buy vehicles, they'll tell you that at a dealership. Are you going to use it as a resident vehicle or are you going to use it as a city vehicle? Um, they mentioned, uh, like, this is like option. They want to, they want to know. They want to know what type of vehicles you're buying and what they're using them for. Uh, they just, just don't want to, they're not pride into your life, you know. They just want to know what, how, how you're going to use this vehicle that you're going to buy. Um, are you going to use that as a city vehicle? It's like a, it's like a law enforcement vehicle or, uh, your own vehicle as you go home to A to B, you know, like going from home to, uh, to a business place. Uh, uh, that's, that's your home vehicle. That's your everyday vehicle you use, basically. But your city vehicle, now, uh, here's, here's where it's get difficult with a lot of people. A uh, city vehicle does not, Basically, you don't take your you don't take the city vehicle home. You don't take drive it into your home. You don't drive into your driveway. You know your driveway and leave it there because uh, people will think you're uh, there's a crime going on or something like that. I'm just saying. Uh, so there's two types of vehicles out there in the world. There's your city vehicles, which is your um, your law enforcement vehicles. Those ones to stay in the in the city areas. Uh, well, there's basically. Um, there's two types of vehicles out there in the world. There's your home vehicle that you go, do your routine uh, driving around. That's that's your that's your resident vehicles. Uh, so yeah, your home vehicles that you go buy shopping at your own vehicles. Um, but there's city vehicles like the city vehicles are basically, uh, you know, when you go to a sheriff uh, department or sheriff location, you'll see city vehicles there in the parking lot. Those are city vehicles. Uh, those ones don't, they don't go home with you, basically. They'll say to you, they're not, they don't go home with you. Okay, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, they're just for the city. They're just for the drive around. They're supposed to, they're there to cap, uh, to capture bad guys. 
to uh, really <laughs> get bad guys, or whatever the explanation is. Um, they're out there getting bad guys. That's what the city of Yokes are meant for. That's what they're designed for. And uh, I just knew it for quite a while. I just heard, uh, uh, I'm not going to mention his name, his YouTuber name. Um, but I heard a couple times it really clicked for me, for me as a viewer. Um, so, uh, this is the words that he said. This is the words he said. He thinks that the uh, law enforcement vehicles are city vehicles. They're just city vehicles. They're not like home use vehicles. Uh, so, it's, it's a difference there. There's a difference. And, I, and I, I'm thinking to myself, well, maybe that's true. That is definitely true. Um, law enforcement are law enforcement. That's why they park them in uh, sheriff departments. When you see them in the parking lots. Uh, those are city vehicles. They don't go home with you. Uh, so they're in the city a lot. Uh, so anyway, I forgot I, I forgot to go on to what, what I'm saying. So this Vicky White girl, who is a sheriff, uh, got this inmate. They had a relationship for two solid years, if you can believe it. It was an inmate. A dangerous, as they call it, dangerous individual. <laughs> I kid you not, it's not like your normal person you have at home. This is a dangerous individual. So he's an inmate. He he did so many things, bad things out there in the world. Uh, that, you know, do no harm theory kind of thing. Uh, well, he did a lot of harm, probably. I don't know what the list is. The judge might read off the list. Uh, but uh, uh, but yeah, he's a bad individual. And why why would he why would he have a relationship with this sheriff woman who strikes up a relationship with him and all of a sudden uh, and starts liking the guy? I mean, this guy's a bad individual, <laughs> as they like to say on, uh, on, on the newscast sometimes. Uh, extremely dangerous. Don't approach these people kind of thing. Uh, you know, uh, so they're extremely dangerous. I'm not, I'm not mentioning names out there. This, you know, uh, just uh, for the public uh, assumption. Uh, but like I said, this guy was an inmate. He did things wrong out there in the world. Bad stuff, bad stuff. I kid you not. <laughs> So that's why he's an inmate. And uh, so they struck up an inter uh Now, this is a span of a few days. I was watching this very, very closely enough. Um, so this sheriff woman decides to... Um, he, she did everything possible to get her, uh, get him out of jail. It's, it's like getting out of free car jail. Um, just, uh, she had to do everything necessary to get him out of, uh, out of the, uh, you know, sheriff department thing. Uh, if it's if it has to do with lawyers, she'll deal with the lawyer stuff. Um, so she's the type of person who would uh, do this sort of thing. You're not supposed to have relationships with a sheriff woman. <laughs> I kid you not. This is my idea of a uh, of relationship sometimes. Uh, but yeah, she was a sheriff woman for 16 solid years. That's what I've heard. Um, what else did I tell you guys? Um, so yeah. And I saw the security cam footage uh, that they showed. This was somewhere on YouTube videos. Uh, they showed the security cam footage where Vicky, you know, that Vicky white girl, uh, she's the sheriff woman. She comes in there and then goes into the, you know, where the uh, cells are, you know, where the um, sheriff cells are. Uh, she goes in there, gets the inmate, brings him out. You know, one thing, one thing I got to tell you people out there, they have the same last name. Is it a coincidence? <laughs> Sometimes people like to say that. Is it a coincidence? I'm, and there might be a coincidence there. Uh, same last names. I don't know if it's a coincidence, folks. You tell me that. <laughs> so, so that was kind of odd. It's like synchronicity, as I like to say. Uh, so synchronicity there, folks. So I'm sorry I'm blabbing on here, but like I said, I'm going to get to the nitty gritty. So they let him go on with her with that uh, sheriff vehicle, the sheriff vehicle, city vehicles, basically city vehicles. And uh, they, uh, he was still in handcuffs. Mind you, this guy was in handcuffs at this point. Uh, so he couldn't do anything. He couldn't uh, move his hands or, you know, whiten out his hands. Uh, so he couldn't do anything like that. He was, uh, he was handcuffed. I kid you not. If you've ever been in handcuffs, this is what it's like. Uh, I don't advise anybody to be in handcuffs. Just bear that in mind. Uh, but, yeah, he was an inmate, so he did have handcuffs on him. So he couldn't move his hands freely. Uh, so, he just had to, he would have to verbalize it at this point. So, so there you go, folks. Um, so, why am I telling you this? Because um, a lot of people are sad because uh, 
she shot herself. I kid you not. It was sad. Everybody thought it was sad. She, the sheriff woman, shot herself. Uh, I guess she knew that when they, uh, when they did that police chase and stuff, they thought that. I guess she thought it's, it's her being a sheriff woman. She either be in jail, or she either shoot herself out of this. And that's probably what she thought. She's gonna shoot herself out of this. Uh, and hopefully die out of this. Um, and she did. She did. That was hours later that she did. And uh, and why why am I telling you this, folks? Because you have to know, folks. I didn't meant to do this. I didn't really meant to do this video on my YouTube channel. So we'll now. Um, I gather all the information, and you guys can laugh at me if you want out there. But like I said, this for my eyes, from my, I kid you not, for my eyes to the YouTube videos out there, um, I was just watching along like everybody else and trying to put the pieces to the puzzle. Remember they always say pieces to the puzzle? Well, that's what I mean. Is this a bigger issue or is this a bigger story or a smaller story? We don't know here. Is this, uh, this was, should we, you know, put out a video for, uh, you know, is this, is this big news for this year, for this big sold year? Uh, so yeah. Um, so I'm going to mention her. She goes by the name of, of Vicky White. She's long gone now. She passed away, shot herself. I kid you not. He didn't do it. The guy who was an inmate didn't do it. She did. She put a gun to her head and shot herself. That's what they said. And, um, so she ended her life. It was either she would <laughs> shoot her way out of this or she would go to jail, you know, go or see a judge, you know, kind of thing. This was her thinking, right? This is where her thinking. Because, the, 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 you know, the you know the sheriff people would come and go get her, and you know, because they already had charges for her already. Uh, yeah. So this is, this is deadly serious, and remember, she's uh, living off the land, as they like to say, living off the land. So she's already, uh, she's not being sheriff, she's been a, you know, like a, a citizen. So at this point, she's a citizen. So yeah, yeah. And um, so folks, I saw the video, so all the way to the bitter end of those videos. Uh, so they got her, they got her, they captured the inmate, I'd say thumbs up. They captured the inmate, and it was all good. It was all thumbs up. <laughs> it was like kids would laugh about this. Uh, yeah, they captured him, the inmate, and it was all good. It was all good. They took him back to the where the uh, sheriff place was, and now they moved him to uh, another jail or so. Or I forget where it was. They're, they're taking him. Um, he's a big, tall guy. Oh, did I mention about him being a big, tall guy? He's not a normal man. He's a bigger, tall man. Big, tall man. You, you, I don't know if the cameras can uh, see this, but yeah, he was a big, tall man. He was not a normal man that you see walking around. Uh, he's a big, tall guy. And uh, I don't know from the camera. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so they brought him in, and um, I'm not going to mention his name. Uh, I don't want to. He's still alive. He's st still alive and well, but he's going to be in jail for a long time. That means he's not going to see Christmas, his family. I kid you not. It's Christmas, his family, and no birthdays. That's basically when you're in jail, you don't get any privileges like that. Uh, your mommy and daddy. Remember they always say, go see your mommy and daddy? Well, no mommy and daddy in jail. Uh, no, you, know, you can cry all you want. No mommy and daddy is going to come to see you. <laughs> no, but anyway, like I said, I'm not going to give the uh, name recognition for him. So as they like to say, I'm not going to do that right here. So I'm not. So he's still alive and well. He got captured. Uh, that means they got him, captured him, uh, the inmate, and he's back in the slammer, as they like to say. <laughs> yeah, he's gone away for a long, long time, folks. I don't know how many years, but gone a long time. And that's sad for everybody. That's pretty much sad. <laughs> And the uh, the uh, sheriff uh, guy, uh, he was on every newscast telling everybody that uh, he'll do it personally. <laughs> he meant this. So there you go, folks. Uh, so he brought, they brought him in, they captured him, and uh, it was all captured on amateur videos. Yeah. So it was stunning. It was stunning. So that's where we are at now in this whole story of ours. 
so yeah, it was uh, from the beginning, from all the way from the beginning to the end. This is a span of two months. I kid you not, two months. So uh, the inmate was on the run. Uh, the uh, Vicky White girl, who's dead, gone. Uh, she shot herself out of this. Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, she died a couple hours ago. She was the sheriff woman. Uh, you can tell they were worried. It was in the state side. So, like I said, folks. Um, so she 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 knew she was going to get into uh, with all this. I guess she kind of knew her ahead of time. She was either shoot herself out of this, or or get herself to, or you know, get, uh, land her in jail or, and then see the judge and everything. Uh, and uh, that's how you be judged. You know, I'm not I'm not judging her. Right? As they say the judge will figure out her charges and stuff what she did wrong and everything. Um, uh, so read out the, you know, the stuff and see if you're guilty or non-guilty. Uh, if you're non-guilty, you go free. If you're guilty, you go to jail kind of thing. Uh, so, you know, uh, but yeah, this is this, this true story. I'm sorry it's lengthy. I'm going to get off this. I'll put her name on the subtitling. Um, I'll do hashtags. I'll do... Um, uh, so... Uh, if to uh, do a search on these people's names, I'll do a hashtag so you can understand where the video is. So it'll do in uh, indexing. So there you go, folks. So I will let you go now, you guys. So in a span of uh, two months, in the span of two months, this is crazy, all the way from the tail end of the last month to this month. Uh, so yeah, in two weeks. Actually, it was done in two weeks. Can you believe it was two weeks compared to other stories? out there. Uh, so just a two week span, uh, these people were on the run. They weren't, that sheriff was be, not being a sheriff anymore. And the inmate was being on the run. So it's like getting out a free, how do you say, get a free card. Uh, so he was uh, on the land, basically at this point. Uh, so, so there you go, folks. I will bid you guys adieu. And that's the story. I'm gonna, it's a true story if you want to know. This is a true story. And uh, I'm going to lay it out there for you guys. I was not planning on doing this, but I'm like the third person here who explained this to you guys. Uh, so this, uh, this, oh, it's like a yay moment, thumbs up, yay moment. So uh, the, Vicky, the Vicky woman uh, killed herself. The inmate currently is still alive, alive and well, but he's going to go in jail for a long, long time. You understand that? Uh, so he, he's the inmate. He's the guy who's the inmate, so he's going back to where he needs to go back to. Uh, so, and he's a big, tall guy. He's not a uh, normal man. He's a bigger, tall man than he is. You see him. He wears jumpsuit, this jumpsuit that they wear. Uh, so, so there you go. So he, he's gone for a long, long time. No Christmases, no birthdays, no mommy and daddy, if he ever has one, uh, has them. Uh... No mommy and daddy to see or hear about. Um, from the outside looking in, kind of theory. Uh, mommy and daddy, I don't know if they will get him to see his mommy and daddy, but that's up to the sheriff people. Uh, so, so, I don't know if there's going to be visits or anything like that. So anyway, I'm going to let this go now. I'm a little bit longer. I'm going to let this guys, uh, you guys go. If you, uh, if you like, you can share my video. Yes, share my video, just like YouTubers like to say. Share my video, uh, put a like button, uh, hit that like button. Yes, hit that like button. I'm um, saying it just like YouTubers would say it. Uh, share this video, hit that like button. It does the video good. I kid you not. Makes the video very good. So hit that like button. <laughs> yeah, hit that like button. And subscribe to my channel if you want. I'm giving you guys options out there. Subscribe to my video. Uh, my channel, my YouTube channel, and yeah, you get fresh videos from me. I'm only going to do them not in a routine. I'm going to do whatever I feel to, whenever I feel like to. Yeah, and so there you go, folks. There's my story. I'm going to stick to it. Uh, there's my Vicky White story. I guess that's where her name was. And uh, we, we can say long gone. Rest in peace, Vicky White. To all of us in the world, rest in peace. Yeah, yeah, and I'm uh, very sad. Very, it only ended two weeks. This whole entire story, and uh, they were on the run. <laughs> Can you believe it? 
and uh, th I was looking through a lot of newscasts in the States. Uh, so I had to, uh, it was like a fast moving story, so they call it the fast moving story. So it has, it, 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 you know, it was what you call moving parts, moving uh, fast moving story. So every day you had to hear what was going on. So there you go, folks. Uh, so you didn't know if they're on the land, you know, so I like to say if they're on the land or they're in uh, the, uh, you know, if they're in jail or so. Um, so there you go, folks. I'll bid you adieu right now.